So all of these diseases have a relationship between genes and environment. We don't know what the trigger is for ankylosing spondylitis, which has a very high genetic component. We still don't know what the trigger is. People are looking for it. Now, let's go on. How do you make an, a reliable early diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis? I talked to you about classification and diagnosis. Classification is not a way to make a diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis using classification criteria. As physicians, we often make diagnoses sometimes before, sometimes before we actually know. And that is because it may not be safe to fail to make a diagnosis. So we might want to treat before patients meet certain criteria. So often we make a diagnosis, what we call a presumptive diagnosis, because if we missed something, we'd be in bad shape. So that's what we do as physicians. We sometimes overdiagnose or diagnose a little bit early before patients fulfill these classification criteria. It's too late to make a diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis when patients fulfill classification criteria because they've already achieved damage to their joints and we want to make a diagnosis before they fulfill classification criteria. And that's the point I want to make. 